it depends what kind of extreme event you're talking about. So, so there are some events which are fairly easy to understand how they're related to the changing climate. The simplest is a heat wave. A heat wave is when it gets very hot for a long period of time, and what you would think would happen in a warming climate is that heat wave would be more frequent or more severe. And that is, in fact, exactly what we think is happening uh, already, and it's going to happen more as the climate warms further. So it's, it's almost as simple as you would think it would be. It's not quite that simple, but it almost is. And then different kinds of events um, become more and more complicated. So droughts uh, in places which are already drought prone, like the southwest US, like California, we expect the, our models tell us, and we have some understanding of why they tell us this, which increases our confidence, that those places are going to see more and more severe droughts. You may have seen work of some of my colleagues from Lamont recently attributing uh, the war in Syria, uh, in part to the drought there, which in part is related to the changing climate. Um, the one in California right now we think is probably mostly natural, but over the long term, uh, the southwest US in general is going to see uh, hotter and drier conditions as a consequence of the circulation patterns changing and the heat evaporating the, the water more quickly once it reaches the ground. Um, floods, uh, he heavy rainfall gets heavier because there's more water vapor in the air in a warmer climate. Hurricanes are getting more complicated. Uh, the relation between a hurricane and the climate in which it occurs is a, is a complex problem. Uh, it's not just as simple as a warmer ocean making a stronger hurricane, which we used to think was the case because hurricanes like warm oceans.